Hi guys, Amber here. It's time for Talk To Me Tuesday. I had really hoped I would be a lot earlier today since I had today off. So I really thought I was going to get done earlier today and that didn't happen. Mostly because I've spent the day um, kind of rearranging my rooms and you can't even really tell from how I film here um, what I've done but I've moved a glass front and cabinet from one side of the room to the other and it was it still had half the stuff in it. I moved a bookcase that I actually ended up having to empty because um, it's one of those cheap uh, things from like Walmart um, kind of three shelf bookcase and the back popped off of it so I had to take everything off in order to move it um, and then nail it back into the back. So um, I've been finding a lot of stuff in my rooms. It kind of makes it a bit awkward because it's kind of like that So Me card if you've ever seen. It's like 90% um, of the time cleaning my room. I'm actually just playing with stuff I've just found. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that right now. So I've been trying to make some progress. In fact, I kind of got to the point where I just took all the yarn that I found and threw it in the yarn closet. Um, I haven't even attempted to go through that yet. I'm going to leave that for another day. Um, so let's get on to some crafty stuff I have to show you guys. I didn't think at first that I had a lot to show you guys simply because all I've been doing all day is cleaning and then I got to think about it and I've done quite a bit this week. So um, let me show you a couple things. First I made this pillowcase and I don't actually have anybody that it's for just yet. Um, the fabric was left over from another project and it was just the right amounts to do a pillowcase so I figured I would go ahead and make it and then if uh, if I needed an emergency gift or it went for something it would be great to have ready and wait. Then since I was on a pillowcase kick I made my pillowcase for my Sesame Street quilt um, all the pieces are in here, the backing, the top, and the binding. Um, I'm just waiting to hear from my quilter as to when I can send it. And, um, so that goes in this bag for now. And when my quilter is ready for it, I will send them off to her. Then I got another embroidery block done on my as you wish um i just kind of freehanded this um so this is kind of like my handwriting but not and um so yeah i did that and that's in the bottom corner and uh last but not least i um as you guys saw a couple weeks ago i finished all of my um blocks for my toy bomb so I kind of figured out what I wanted to do with the placement and everything and I was going to do four patches well I got some four patches done and so they're not all quite right they're a little off and I blame that on the fact that I can't sew traditional piecing um, what I did is I had um, a yard of this color antique and then I just went through and cut charms of a bunch of other colors that I used um, in the quilt. And then I just kind of placed them randomly and figured out like where certain things would go. Um, I didn't want too much of any one color in one spot. So yeah, so really that's I mean, I did like 13 of these, and now all that's left is to take them and sew them into strips, and then sew them into um, the top. Um, discovering I must have a thing for um, square quilts, because while I hadn't intended to do this as a square, it's coming out that way. And, um, 
I don't know what I'm going to do to remedy that, if I'm going to remedy it at all. Um, so, I mean, I like how it's looking. I actually, before I did the four patches together, I took it to work and threw these down on uh, the office floor on one of my breaks and figured out what colors went best with what so I could kind of see it all at once without having to pin it all to my wall. And so, yeah, it's kind of square, but I still have plenty to do on it, like, um, borders. Um, when I cut the sashing for all of this, or not the sashing, sorry, when I cut the charm squares for this and spread them out, I still have all of these charms of fairy frost left and there's actually enough if I wanted to I could go around the whole thing as a border I don't know if I will because it's not um I'm out of the antique well not out I just don't I haven't cut anymore um so I could do something with these I could make I don't know I can make some to go in the middle um like I said, there's plenty of charms in here. There's about 40 some charms in here. And um, so I could do something like that. I think I'm just going to kind of wait for a little while, give myself some breathing space on that project. And then, uh, then I can go back to doing that. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Um, don't have a lot more to show you guys. Um, I'm out of secrets. To show you right now um so yeah I, i'm pretty much at this point stalling on doing any more cleaning although i have to because my bed is covered with stuff and when it's covered with stuff it means i can't go to bed until i clean it off now it is only 10 o'clock at night so i'll be up for a couple hours yet and i'll have plenty of time to do it um but until then so yeah, um, oh, I have a couple questions for you guys. Um, one, um, those of you that do embroidery, how do you store your stuff? I, I'm not talking just your floss. Um, I've got a floss organizer. Um, I just don't have all my floss in it because I have a lot of it in skeins and I don't want to unwind them onto floss organizers until I'm going to use them. Floss thingies, you know. Um, but right now I just kind of have it all thrown into one of my quilt squares box. The other is for paper crafters. How do you store your paper? Because like these things that I actually use for my quilt squares are actually for paper projects, but I put my quilt squares in them because it's a perfect fit. Um, but I've got a lot of paper that I've picked up over the years and trust me, I'm finding so much more. Um, I could use any ideas that you have for doing stuff with it and um, and how to keep it all good and everything. So I think that's it. I think I need to do some cleaning up and rearranging here before I plan to do more tomorrow. Um, one of the things I'm going to try and do is I've got a bookcase in my craft room. Um, that I use to hold a lot of stuff, which you've probably seen in some of the videos that I posted when I post for my craft room. I'm going to move that into here so that I can build a cube thing, which is, yeah, that thing over my shoulder right there, which I've had for, you know, maybe a year and have not put together yet. So that's the plan anyway. And yeah, I have a lot of ambition just I gotta see if the drive is still there. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.